thermodynamics, heat lost is equal to heat gained problems. Here is a problem. A piece of aluminum with a mass of 3.99 grams at a temperature of 100 degrees Celsius is dropped in 10 milliliters of water at 21 degrees Celsius. What is the final temperature of water? The density of water is given as 1 gram per milliliter and specific heat of aluminum is 0 0.921 joules per gram per degree Celsius and that of water is 4.18 joules per gram per degree Celsius. Heat lost by aluminum is equals to heat gained by water. Heat loss is an exothermic reaction and heat gained is an endothermic reaction. By convention, exothermic reactions are represented using negative values for Q or we can say it is minus Q and heat absorbed is going to be positive Q. Q can be calculated using the equation Q is equals to mc delta T. So here is mc delta T for aluminum which is a negative sign and mc delta T for water. Delta T is a change in temperature, either drop in temperature for aluminum or gain in temperature for water. And that is calculated using T initial minus T final. Substituting the values, mass of aluminum is 3.99 grams, specific heat is 0 0.921 and the initial temperature is 373.14 Kelvin. Mass of water is 10 grams, specific heat is 4.18 and the initial temperature is 294.14 Kelvin. Next, we will solve this equation to find the final temperature. Multiplying 3.99 by 0.921, we get 3.67. Now, solving or expanding the, uh, the values in the bracket, 3.67 times 373.14 gives us 1369.42 joules and 3.67 times TF gives you 3.67 TF. All these values are for aluminum and now for water 41.8 times 294.14 gives you 12295.05 and 41.8 times TF gives you 41.8 TF. Next we will rearrange these equations so that we will bring the like terms together. On the left side we are going to bring the TF values. The TF on right is negative 41.8. When it comes to the left side, it becomes positive. Add it to 3.67. That gives you 45.47 TF. Similarly, the value of energy in joules can be moved to the right. Negative 1369.42 joules. When it is taken to the right side, becomes positive. Add it up. It gives you 13664.47 joules. In order to solve for TF, divide. 13664.47 by 45.47 joules. That will be 300.51 Kelvin. So the final temperature of water is going to be 300.51 Kelvin or 27.38 degrees Celsius. That's how we solve a problem on heat lost is equals to heat gained.